Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome back to Dishonored. This time, we're jumping into the Brigmore Witches DLC. So, <laughs> this is brand new territory for me. This is the first of the content that I've never played before. I would played the hell out of the original Dishonored, and I'd played the Knife of Dunwall at least twice, because I have both- I had both high and low chaos completions, you know. But, the Brigmore Witches is brand new territory, so... <laughs> I'm gonna do what I did last time and I'm gonna try and go for, like, pacifist, cleanest run sort of thing. A save game from the Knife of Dunwall has been found. You can use your progression in the Brigmore Witches. You will retrieve your equipment and powers. Oh! Oh, I see. Uh, low chaos, thank you. <laughs> Dowd's Hideout. Troubled Sleep. You've been ill at ease ever since you assassinated Empress Jasmine Caldwin and aided in the abduction of her daughter Emily. He knew. The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The Overseers have stormed my hideout in the Flooded District. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. The men are recovering well from the attack. Yeah. But they don't understand the danger there. This is what you hear right before. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. Yeah. Oh, do I actually have to fight him? Corvo. Here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. Ah! Uh. Oh, what the? He's not affected by slow time. Ah! Uh. Um. Straight away, I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I think I'm in a dream. There's floating stuff. Wait, what's my, what's my... Defeat Corvo Atano. I was gonna say, what's my mission? I don't have all my powers. Oh. Can I do this? Ah! <laughs> Can I do this without killing him? Okay, wait, I'm gonna quick save it. Oh god. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Okay, I think this- I think you have to do this. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I... What is it? Thomas has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. Okay, I have my powers back. <laughs> uh, okay, well out of paranoia I checked uh, to see if that counted as a like a, an assault or a kill or whatever. It doesn't. <laughs> Corrupted bone charms, what the? Corrupted bone charms are powerful bone charms that come with a cost. Oh. Note from Billy. And this is her book? That she left? Oh, guide to port cities. Port cities, okay. So you got Potterstead and Dunwolf of Gristol. You got Colkenny of Morlay. You've got Yarrow of Tivia. And you've got Calero and Karnaka of Sirkonos. That's the way that they pronounced it. Sirkonos. 
<laughs> I think that's how Emily pronounced it in the main game. And Karnaka, I'm pretty sure that's the main city you're in in uh, Dishonored 2. Which is interesting as, he as all hell. <laughs> oh, I still have all my bone charms. Wonderful. So this new one that I've got, this corrupt bone charm. Uh, you deal greater damage with your sword, but your swing, you swing your sword slower. Oh, I see. Interesting. Well, for now, I'm going to equip all my ones I had before. Begging your pardon, Dowd, but I don't think it's safe to leave these overseers holed up in the refinery. It's a new game now. Right. They know where to find us. We just have to make them afraid to. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. You can, like, see out into the... Oh, those are... Those are overseers right there. Oh, but they're... They're our, capti uh, our captured overseers, I think. Ah, right. Cool. Well, let's go talk to Thomas in just a second. <laughs> uh, yep. What one was that? That's Oh, boot stealth. Okay, I got boot stealth straight back again. Wonderful. Overseer's saber? Oh, right, because I didn't have my own sword just then. A rune right here. <laughs> oh, it's cool. <laughs> oh, and that's my sword. There we are. Yeah. So I found a rune. Uh, not that I want to spend it on anything just yet. But, actually, while we're here, while we're looking at it, this is a new power. This is the power I was talking about in episode 2 of The Knife of Dunwall. Um, yeah. I think everything else is the same, but this is a brand new one. I don't know why it wasn't included in The Knife of Dunwall, but yeah, it's essentially like a... It's like a levitate-type power from other games where you can pull objects towards yourself, but it's also like a lift enemy into the air and, and hold them there kind of power. You'll get what I mean when I unlock it, because <laughs> I'm going to totally unlock that. I feel like they're leaving a lot of hints towards the fact that they want to make the next game on Sir Konos. <laughs> Let's talk to Thomas. I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. Uh, From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge. We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir. Right, I see. Or should I wait? Wait, just a second. At your pleasure. I saw there was still a rune. <laughs> before, yeah, before we go, well, let's have a look around. They say he let Rothwild live. Is Dowd getting soft? Rothwild's I'm, not I'm, coming back anytime soon. I'm right here. <laughs> you should spend more time thinking about your form. Anytime you think I'm a little soft, you're welcome to come by my office. Bring a blade. <laughs> See, I think the uh, the whole thing with Billy saying that she was like should be a replacement for Dowd. I think that's where it comes from. I think Dowd openly welcomes them to try and test his abilities. If they can best him, then they may as well lead this pack as <laughs> instead. Taking prisoners is exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. You don't have to remind me. It's Bedard. <laughs> Ever vigilant, I see. <laughs> Are we leaving soon to Brigmore? Interesting times, gentlemen. Overseers in the flooded district. Witches abroad in the city. Traitors in the ranks. I'd be nervous, too. Then I'd remember who killed the Empress in Dunwall Tower. <laughs> and came out untouched. <laughs> God damn, there's, they really have no honor amongst each other, do they? And they've got like a full blow-by-blow, blow, I think, of the previous <laughs> DLC, once again, more info, oops, uh, grab that, sweet, two out of two runes found, so I can actually get pull already, <laughs> sweet, let me buy it. At level one, grab inanimate objects from afar with right click. Items such as money, ammunition, and keys can be pilfered from a distance. Other out-of-reach objects such as bottles or whale oil tanks can also be picked up. 
At level 2, pull living things and bodies for a slightly higher mana cost than in a inanimate objects. When enemies are close enough, they are lifted helplessly and can be executed or choked out. Corpses and unconscious bodies are automatically carried. Hmm. Cool. Strategic tips. Pull can silently disable a security system if used on a whale oil tank powering the device. Ooh. <laughs> that's very true. I think that's all that's here. May as well get going, I guess. Is it time to go, sir? <laughs> you get a frickin' mission statement from this? <gasps> Choosing your mark. Defeated Corvo in a dream. Yeah, and I found all the money. <laughs> Coldridge Prison. A stay of execution for Lizzie. You need Lizzie Stride's boat to reach Delilah's stronghold at Brigmore Manor. Unfortunately, the leader of the Dead Eels gang is locked up in Coldridge Prison, and you've got to break her out. Ooh. Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. <laughs> Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. Mm. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. Hmm. Favors. Yeah, so we've still got favors in this game, in this DLC. Part of me feels like the Knife of Dunwall and the Brigmore Witches was supposed to just be one DLC, but for whatever reason, whether it's time or money or whatever, they decided to split it into two separate purchasable DLCs. Just the fact that I have all my upgrades from last time, but there was also the upgrades just sitting in the room with me, just there at the start, <laughs> um, says to me that people who are playing this DLC and not the previous one, they're given, the, they're basically given like a foundation to start off with, because if you haven't played the previous one, then you, it's like you kind of, are, you're expected to have the stuff from the previous DLC, but if you haven't played it, then it's like, well, you, you kind of need it, so they have to give you a whole lot of shit at the start to make up for it. I just, I can't get past that feeling that's how it, yeah, that's what the deal is there. Oh, I should have checked the... No! Oh, I suck. Shit. Why did I do that? I didn't check this first. Okay, I'm gonna load. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't missing the chance of getting freaking rune. Like, the fact that there's runes attached to purchases, it bothers me a little bit. A recent sweep of the prison for contraband has yielded a number of heretical artifacts. One of them will accidentally be misplaced for the right bribe. Forged requisition. I don't need stun mines. I don't feel like I need stun mines for this. Uh, you were disguised as an overseer. An overseer has been summoned to Coldridge Prison. Oh, Overseer Dowd. You can disguise as an overseer to get into the prison. Ooh. I'm totally gonna do that. That sounds really interesting. Ah, oh, I can't buy any upgrades anymore. <laughs> it's all good. All right, well, let's get started. I don't want to do the. This should get me in the front door. At I don't want to just pay it's for. Like I need to check in with those guards by the gate. <laughs> oh, and I have the overseer blade. Yep. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. I wonder what happens if you- what it's like if you don't buy that favor. Like, I wonder how the mission differs. <laughs> like, I wonder if you still start up here. Or if you start, like, down below. Like, straight away, there's a rune down there that might have been really, really easy to get if I started down there. But I don't know. I, I can't overseer. be sure. About time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. 
Anything else is off limits, understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. <laughs> Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it. <laughs> That's super interesting. I wonder how weird I can act bef without them, like, questioning anything. Open the gate. Does he just open the door and that's it? Will, will he keep the door open for me? I really want to get that rune. Somewhere around here there's Overseer music playing. <laughs> Elixir. Bunch of crap. That's... <laughs> that is so weird. I think I should be able to still get to the outside later. That's right. The character who lets Quovo out of his prison in the main game is seen in this part getting executed. Uh, I think you can, you might be able to prevent him from being executed, but uh, he gets executed for <laughs> for helping Corvo. All right, well, we're gonna find a book that has. We're gonna find the log books. This mask won't fool an arc pilot. I was gonna say, I was, <laughs> I was literally just about to. Ooh. I just like leapt three human heights into the air. I was just about to say, I wonder if this arc pylon will go off if I get near it. Why is no one making rounds over here? <laughs> I believe I'm technically trespassing if I walk in there. Yeah, I don't know how arc pylons work. They're very strange. <laughs> um, can they see in here? I sure would have thought they could. I'm not saying it would be easy, but I could do it. Once the cell doors open. Oh god. Uh, how? In the first rush, I take two, three, before they get their swords out, pick up their pistols, or you'd have to be lucky. Okay. This guy needs to be knocked out. Shh. <laughs> this is an overseer. Like, piling up. God. The interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey <laughs> is certified it is free of any heretical corruption. Oh my God! I've got this like pile of corpses here. <sighs> corpses. Pile of bodies here. The sound she made. Ah! It was like. Or am I? Am I allowed to be in here? Not until the overseer finishes. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, someone saw me. No! <laughs> Just firing darts. Oh my god. Oh, I can't use the thing where you have your hand out and not your sword as Dowd. Because he doesn't do his little, like, flick before he puts his sword away, so you don't have the time to... Ah, oh, damn. All right, well this time, I think I'm allowed to walk in here. I seemingly have permission to walk around in here. So, it's all good if I sneak past here and try and sneak around the Arc Pylon. Oh, the Arc Pylon's off. I mean like, pussyfooting around this friggin... Yeah. I've been like pussyfooting my way around this arc pylon, and it's not even freaking on. I'm not allowed out here, am I? These disguise won't help me if I'm caught in a restricted wing. I'm curious if I jump over here, am I trespassing? Apparently not. So I can go down here and get this rune. Yes. Yay. <laughs> okay, there's nothing really in here. It was just the rune down there and that's it. I wonder if there's um oh god, it's a freaking corpse here. If there's a uh type of music that you know disorients the void powers. I wonder if there's music that amplifies vo uh, void powers. Hmm. Curious. Good. Once the cell only prison personnel beyond this point. 
No exceptions. Ah, uh, okay. This area is off All limits. Good. Keep moving. All good. Well, I guess we're going to the interrogation room then. <laughs> I was sort of avoiding it for a while. You want the interrogation room? That's where it happened. <laughs> I just took his money <laughs> because I'm not like choking anyone out. I feel like I need to right take as much there. money as I can. Can't miss it. None of the guards that went in to question her came out. I'll be careful. Oh, right, because it's the the crazy eel gang woman. Oh. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John's Battle Street. Only prison personnel beyond this point. No exceptions. Oh good. Oh good. I'm just gonna read. <laughs> the hatters. Keep the hatters away from the eels. The hatters and the eels are not friends. Makes sense. They're both gangs. They just uh. getting sick. What happened here? Yeah, what the frick? Hey? What the hell? Okay, well, I'm gonna pick up all the stuff. Bring more chest key. Well, there's a bone, uh, um, sorry, a room right here. Cool. Transfer orders. We've got an interrogation log two four two five, sorry. Oh my god, these are all methods of torture. Wow. Alright, well let's have a listen. Is she strapped in right? Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? Alright, we'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing? All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Hmm. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Um... Okay. Yeah, she like... <laughs> Was she actually... Did they actually capture one of the Brigmore witches? Because this, this room looks like it's been affected by a witch. Well, I don't think there's anything else in this room. So, I guess I'm just gonna wander around. Okay, so I am very limited in where I can go in this mission. At least so far. Um, I wonder. Oh. That's freaking awesome. This Ooh, disguise right. won't help me if I'm caught in a restricted wing. <laughs> Ooh, escape plans. <laughs> so someone was planning an escape above the roof thing here. Okay, so I, I leapt up to an area up above in an effort to get to somewhere outside of the, the normal zone without any guards being in the way. Doors. Oh, cell control instructions. Set first tumbler to match cell section letter. Set second and third tumblers to cell number. Pull lever to confirm selection. Right, so I need to figure out which cell I need to, uh, you know, open up. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can... Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can open up some of these cells. So it's A25. Let's see if I can Let's make this on. cell open, if I put, type in A25. Sound sheet made. Another night. There we go. 
baffled dust. Yeah. So yeah, this choke dust is more important than you'd think. So choke dust was like a was just a late addition, I think, to the previous part of the DLC. In this part, they're putting a whole lot of explanation surrounding choke dust. Trembling hands, blood from the eyes. So there's a guard at the end of the hall here. Uh, I'm just gonna portal past him. Oh, the cell's open. Sweet. <laughs> I was gonna like check the number, go in. Oh god, post key. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was gonna do the whole like open it up, <laughs> but no, don't need to. Sweet. Do I? See? Do I just shoot him with a dart? Wait, let's just. I'm just gonna quick save it, and I'm gonna try and take out this guy that's down here. Here, no one saw a thing. Uh, None until their next step. All cells in section A uh, are under quarantine until further notice. That was when he Prisoners who have been transferred from section B will be observed for signs do. of infection. You just haven't been there to see it happen. They're talking about Corvo and their interaction with Corvo. Hey, what? <laughs> they freak me out every time they open their mouth because they. They keep uh, seeing me doing black magic and being like, Witchcraft! <laughs> oh. That might be the woman we're looking for. <laughs> Shh. Ammunition locker key. Ooh. Quarantine until further Help. notice. Someone's breaking Prisoners out. who have been transferred Guard. from Quick. Section B Someone will be observed for signs of infection. <laughs> oh, I freaked out for a second there because he started screaming. Uh, he's gonna freaking alert the guards. But then it turns out they just were like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> sort of thing. What the? You see that? My sword. <laughs> I think it's because I'm using the overseer sword and not my sword. Okay, uh, A10 is another cell I want to get into. Okay, A10. Here we go. Cool. Uh, oh, nasty. I had to freaking unclog like a <laughs> toilet just here. So I think I just got Shivering Silhouette. Enemies have a high chance to miss ranged attacks. You are more visible to enemies. Oh, okay, yeah, nah. I don't see myself using any of these corrupt charms, to be honest. I wonder if I can use this to pull the money that's in there. Uh, it's going to start any moment. Oh, it worked. Blood. Oh, no, no, on little objects. It just uses enough that you can regenerate the, the energy. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, because what I'd read is that the pull works a little bit differently from a lot of other powers. So when you normally use pull, I'm gonna get this guy real quick. When you normally use pull, uh, it uses a small amount of of your energy. When you use it on a medium-sized object, it uses a little bit more. But then if you use it on a person, it uses a whole lot of energy. So it's like, it has varying use numbers, has varying amounts of energy consumption. Whereas previously, every other power has had a set, a set amount, and it doesn't matter how you're using it, it always uses that same amount. Ah, uh, the logbook is in this room in here, with these two guards standing back to back, basically. Let's go down and have a Where's Harold? have a chat. Not in his cell. Oh. Check the log. We've been moving people around to make room for the politicals. This never happened under the Empress. Someone will hear you. And it wasn't <laughs> easy with the Empress around. She'd hold inspections with the royal protector trailing after her. <laughs> mm. I wish we'd taken care of him. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. 
Yeah, they didn't take care of me. Like, they, of course, I was sorry. Uh, if they'd taken better care of, of him, he might not have been so murdery in our last playthrough. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly grab the logbook. Uh, Elizabeth Stride has been moved to D24, so that's who we need to go to. Um, okay. Yeah, I was right. That's the woman we're looking for. Uh, Lizzie Stride. Yeah. She's in rough shape. Well, let's go open this up. So it was D24. So, D24. There we go. So this prison area isn't actually quite as big as I think it is. I'm gonna... There we go. Oh, I was gonna say, who saw me? It was that guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, apparently parts of the walkway, like... Apparently when I'm standing on that little path up there, that's not out of bounds, so the guards wouldn't even question me being up there. That's hilarious. Okay, well let's talk. Wake up, Lizzie. I'm not telling you shit. We... No. <laughs> Down. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. <laughs> I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. Mm. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? <laughs> it's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now it belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. <laughs> can you walk? <laughs> second in command. Thing and I'll yeah. fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. <laughs> I'll just get my tiara, did she say? What? <laughs> Down. I think I... Oh. I'll have to oh. carry her out. Alright, well. <laughs> Let's carry her out. <laughs> Luckily I'm super fast moving, even when I'm carrying people. I have all sorts of upgrades that make me faster when I'm sneaking, faster when I'm crouching, faster with my weapons out. Oh. Oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, actually, what I meant to do is this. I'm going to bring her back to the start. Can I warp over there? No, I can't. Okay, let's warp here first. I'm gonna bring her right out the... Oh, that's what you need to go to that sewer area down below. I see. Thank God for all these pipes up here. I wonder if you use the... I wonder if you have to use it or you're supposed to use the... Uh, this area out here to do this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind then, I guess. Apparently he cannot see me from here, but he could see me over there. Aw, oh, damn. I forgot about the Overseer music out there. Okay, we're gonna have to make it real careful. Real careful luck. Okay, I'm just gonna try and go... No! Damn it. <laughs> Bastard. I have no powers once I get out there, so it's really dodgy. <laughs> okay, let's go to the far side of here. Damn it. Maybe he'll walk the other way. Uh, uh. <laughs> yes. Okay, we did it. <laughs> this whole outside area has friggin' music playing. <laughs> well, we got out with her. Yay! She's beaten, but not dead. See that her wounds get attention. Yes. It will be done. 
<laughs> All quiet, sir. Ready to go? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. There's still stuff I need to Keep find. To post. Good luck, sir. I'm just gonna jump around, try my best to get to the things that I need to find. Do I have all the runes? Oh, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to know. <laughs> I like how, even though I've done everything, I'm still technically disguised, so the guards won't, like, question me being here. <laughs> I think there's just the one bone charm out by the execution area. Ooh, this cell has a whole lot of things in it. But it also has tripwire. Oh, it's got one of those freaking shooter things over there. Okay, well, let's go open this up. AO1. AO1. There we go. Okay. Let's see if... Actually, I wonder if I can use pull to disarm that trap. Okay, that didn't disarm the trap. Can I... No, apparently not. Well, let's try and get through here without triggering it, shall we? Nope. Okay, let's see if I can blink upwards like that. There we go, that worked. Disarm that. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> okay, I think genuinely the only thing left is the execution yard. So I think I've been everywhere else. I'm gonna try and take this guy out because he's gonna get in the way. Oh my god. The guy was like looking directly at me. I swear. Okay, so now I should have free reign of this little area down here. Shouldn't need to worry about him seeing they me. Don't hesitate to kill their own. To appear for service on the day of Corvo Watano's disappearance from custody. For gross dereliction of duty and the reasonable suspicion of treasonous conspiracy, I hereby sentence you. Dead. Help <laughs> Someone help me out! You gotta bleed. <laughs> no, let's not do it like that. Take aim. Fire. Well, I guess they're dead. It's finished. Stand down. The Lord Regent. I tried to save them, but some. To kill their own. Thanks for carrying out this sentence. I tried to stop it from happening, but something somewhere along the line, uh, they started without me when I was trying to clean up some stuff out here. Rest assured. So. Corvo will be caught, and we'll give him the same treatment. Right, men. Nope. Uh. Apparently that rune's still active. <laughs> it's weird, some runes have been deactivated, and some of them are still active. Shh. Oops. Oh my god. Well, I don't want them killing these guys. Even if they do kill those guys. I'm hoping that doesn't count as my kills. <laughs> so if that counts as like deaths on my end. Um I'm gonna be a little upset. <laughs> Just because I didn't manage to stop them from dying, you know? I kind of thought there'd be a way to turn off the overseer music playing outside. Apparently not. <laughs> well, I think that's everything. I think I've got everything. So, as per usual, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna check. Make sure I have not missed anything. Okay, let's All see what happens. Quiet, sir. Ready to go. I am, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Breakout. Yay, didn't kill anyone. Ghost. Chaos low. I got everything. I found all of the money. Literally all of the money. Oh my god. Maintained Overseer disguise, leaving no evidence behind. Learned about the Brigmore Witch's interrogation. Yeah. So yeah, clearly they had captured one of the witches and they tried to interrogate her. And that, what we saw in that room with like all the plant, all the tree stuff around it. And... Uh, like the corpse that was like burnt. I have a feeling it. What's happened there is they've like dematerialized or so, to some degree or something like that. Like they've s jumped out of a body or something and moved into another body. 
and and left like a charred corpse behind. I think that's what's happened. I don't know. They might have genuinely killed one of the witches, which is impressive. <laughs> killed one of the witches, which is impressive. Funny observation, Rory. Funny observation. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to leave that there. There should be about two full missions of remaining DLC. And then that's the whole of Dishonored 1. Complete. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 